Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so glad to be here again. I don't know why I always say this. It's like always the same intro, but I'm truly happy to be back on here. Um, yeah, and I am very excited for today's video because today's video is fully dedicated to all the busy women out there whether you're busy because of work or because you still go to school or it doesn't matter why you're busy i know implementing fitness into your lifestyle aside from a very busy work schedule can be super hectic to combine and for some people it seems that it's impossible to combine and yeah it's a little bit sad because if your if your goal is to really you know work on your health and like really work on your dream body but you feel like you're you, you just don't have time enough to drive to the gym to have a session of one hour one hour and a half over there drive back home you feel like no i don't really have the time for this so you know i'm just not gonna do it um yeah it doesn't fit in my schedule this is where home workouts can be of such a great help and this is your reminder that doing a home workout is still better than to do no workout at all so that's one thing um, we will be doing a killer glute workout in today's video because yes 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 listen to me you can build muscle at home with minimal equipment as well i know there's a lot of misconfusion about that people saying oh no, it's not possible. Yes, it is. But one thing that you have to take in mind is that it might take a little bit longer than for example, when you go to the gym. And the reason for that is because if you go to the gym, you have a lot of different machines available. You have, you have basically all the equipment available that you need you know, to grow, to train in different ways, um, to hit every angle of your muscle. But the main difference between training from home and going to the gym is the equipment and the ability to progressive overload your muscles. I've explained it many, many times in my videos, but progressive overload is the key, the key factor to grow muscle mass. So in that one thing, when you train at home, I am a little fortunate with my little home gym over here because I can easily always train from here and like also impl implement progressive overload because I do have a lot of weights, plates, dumbbells, etc. I can like really challenge myself. But I know majority of the people who have a little bit of equipment at home do have just, you know, one dumbbell, one resistance band or maybe just a barbell. And just because you're limited with the equipment and the load you can put onto your muscles, make it less challenging for your body to like really, you know, overcome a plateau and like really shock your muscles in order to get hypertrophy. So that is actually the one and only reason why it's a little harder to grow muscle blast from home, but it's not impossible, okay? If you do find yourself like really enjoying training from home, then I can only recommend you to invest in more equipment over time. That's something that I really wanted to point out in today's video. Today we will be doing a killer glute workout with just a dumbbell and a resistance band, okay? Um, so you can do this easily at home, in your bedroom, wherever you want. Before we get into our warming up routine, can I ask you for a little favor? And I think you already know, but if you do find this video helpful, then make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And meanwhile, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Your support is always appreciated. So before we get started, it's always wise to put your hair in a ponytail. I hate it when my hair is loose when I'm working out. <laughs> So we will be starting with a, oh, this is not the best ponytail stuff, but can we live with it? Hmm, yes, we can. <laughs> uh, so we will be starting with a um, dynamic warming up session. Nothing too long, like five to max 10 minutes. Keeping it very simple and like really warming up our lower body muscles. Um, through a full range of motion with just some body weight. So let's go. Thank you. 
starting with the real workout, this means that we will be starting with a compound movement and we will be doing a sumo squat with a dumbbell. I've got this huge <laughs> dumbbell already set here in place. Um, so a few focus points during this exercise is, first of all, it's a sumo squat stance. So this means that you will stand wider than shoulder width stance because this hits more glutes in general. So this would mean something like this. And what you should also pay attention to is to slightly drive your toes, like instead of just straight, like slightly outwards, nothing too crazy, like just like this. This will also help you to drive your knees outwards if you do find yourself that your knees are collapsing inwards as soon as you do a squat movement. So that can be a great help. And then you pick up the dumbbell with a nice and straight back, push the glutes backwards like this. All right, then chest to the front and then really go down very slowly until you almost hit the floor and then coming back up. Now, another thing that you should avoid is to like stretch your knees, you see? Because if you're doing this, you will really put a lot of pressure on your knees and like really take away the contraction of the glutes. Um, which is not what we want, okay? So when you come up again, I'm gonna show you, you wanna have a nice and slight bend in your knees. Now, because I know most of you guys will be doing this with a very light dumbbell at home, um, it's important to like really focus on the mind muscle connection and also the time under tension. So that's why I have decided to do this exercise with a very slow eccentric phase. This means the eccentric phase refers to the lowering phase. So lowering phase is when you go down and then hold one second, explosive up. No rest at the top. So immediately go into your second repetition and up. One more important thing I do find myself super helpful during this exercise is to lean slightly forward with your torso. So this means like, this instead of like going super straight if you lean slightly forward you will drive more focus to the glutes again so yeah this means they will work slightly better I can feel some pump already in there and it's only the first exercise. Okay, so we will be moving immediately into our second exercise, which is a superset. So I might better have told you this <laughs> in the beginning, but after completing the sumo squat, you immediately go into this exercise I'm gonna show you right now no rest in between or very limited rest in between. The goal is to really, just because we have minimal equipment, not really heavy loads on the muscles, it's even more important to limit rest times during your sets and like really increase time under tension to optimize your workout. So we will be doing a glute bridge. So um, yeah, I'm laying on a bench over here, but you can do this at home on the sofa or on the, um, or or on a chair, for example, whatever you find like has a similar height to a bench is useful and perfect. So when it comes to a glute bridge, what you want to do is you want to lean with the upper part of your back, like just my shoulders basically laying on the bench. Okay. And then 
Don't put your feet too much forward and neither too close because if you put it too forward, you will um, hit more hamstring. If you put it too close um, to your body, you will hit more quadriceps, which is not what we want, okay? So basically, yeah. Hmm, what should I say? Like 90 degrees. I think it's almost a 90 degree angle that we will be hitting. Um, but this is like the perfect stance. So one straight leg, go down, up, squeeze, squeeze. This is the most important during this exercise because at the top range of the movement here, your glutes are working the most, okay? Go down, up. Up. So this is the exercise we will be doing, just body weight, really focusing on the contraction with the glutes at the top. Hold for one second and repeat 12 reps each side. So let's do this. Not even exaggerating but this is quite intense this is quite intense <laughs> okay guys moving on to our third exercise we will be doing a dumbbell hip thrust with a abduction with the band so regarding this exercise I want you to put the band slightly above your knees then actually the same focus points as with the glute bridge so just the upper part of the back leaning on the bench making sure that my resistance band is in place making sure that my feet are not putting too much forward neither too close like this feet around shoulder width or slightly closer okay going all the way down up squeeze this is again the part where your glutes are actually the most effective during this exercise so it's even more important to like hold it for two seconds at the top range of motion as we are here open closed open closed i know it might seem like the resistance band doesn't really add like a lot of effect to this exercise, but it really does. Our glutes exist of three muscles. So we have the gluteus maximus, minimus and medius. The maximus is of course the biggest part of your booty, let's say, which is always targeted during all lower body compound movements and most isolation exercises as well. But the gluteus medius and minimus not always. So that is why it's beneficial in this case to add the little abduction movement because that movement mainly activates the minimus and medius part of the glutes. We will be doing this exercise five sets, 10 reps, and also keeping minimal rest times in between sets, of course. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Oh. oh, I knew this was about to happen. Okay, I hope by this time you already have a nice 
glute pump. Let's move on to our final superset for this workout, which will be ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. It wasn't me if I didn't include a reverse lunge. This is my absolute favorite glutes exercise of all time. I find it even better than hip thrust. Um, don't argue with me. This is just my personal opinion. And yeah, it's just been a staple for years. You guys know I normally uh, prefer to do this with a barbell. Um, so I'm, I'm honestly not used to do this with dumbbells. I, I do find a barbell very helpful because it lays on your um, traps. And you also don't have to really struggle with imbalances and stuff. At least that's what I experience. And you can just simply go a lot, a lot heavier on this exercise if you do it with a barbell. But since today's workout is fully dedicated to minimal equipment, and I know people rather have a set of dumbbells at home than a barbell, we will be doing it with dumbbells, which is just as fine chest to the front, shoulders backwards, as you can see. Okay, put your feet together and then take a big step backwards, go all the way down, lean a little forward with your torso as well, almost touching the ground with your knee, up. When you come up again, like I will show you without weights, it's really important to push through that heel. And not with this foot. Like really push here. Keep a nice and slight bend in the knee. Don't overstretch because then again, as I explained earlier in this video, you will lose uh, tension in the glutes. Um, so that is how you perform it. Okay. Since we are doing the alternating, we are doing left, right and so on. The bigger the step backwards, the more you will stretch the glutes muscles. So this is another focus point. If you just have this range of motion, it will be more quadricep focused, which is not what we want. We will be doing four sets uh, with eight reps each side. So this makes 16 steps backwards every set. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Oh my goodness, I can confirm <sighs> by doing this exercise right now with dumbbells that the contraction is so different than when you do it with a barbell. Yeah, it's just, it's just not as good. But I do feel my glute muscles working a lot though, don't get me wrong. Um, but a barbell still is a favorite. Woo! We are supersetting this exercise with a resistance band variation, as I said. Now, for this exercise, I always find it better when I put the resistance band on the lower portion of my legs instead of above my knees. But this is something that you have to find out for yourself what feels better. This is for me the best option, okay? So what we will be doing is We'll be doing a 45 degree angle kickback, 10 repetitions into a full kickback, 10 repetitions. So this means slight bend in the knees, upright position, okay. Uh, yeah, I don't really have something to put, okay. This will work like this, one, two, until 10. So this is not completely a side kick, but like between this range, like that is a 45 degree angle. So like this. 
then go immediately into a kickback. Oh, I better put these aside, otherwise it won't work. In a kickback like this. Keep your body as stable as possible and like only move your leg, the working leg, okay? Um, so let's do this. If you don't have a next level glute pump, you did something wrong. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's been ages since I, I'm not gonna lie, it's been ages since I did home workouts or like workouts with very minimal equipment myself. Yeah, because um, ever since I got my home gym and the, the regular gyms are open again, of course, I'm just, you know, using machines and like really forcing myself to like, you know, improve all areas of my fitness journey, like strength level, muscle mass, cardiovascular health. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it feels really, really, really good. Anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please give the workout a try. Uh, if you gave it a try, then please let me know down below in the comments how you experienced it. If you have any requests in what kind of content you want me to make them feel free to let me know and for now i'm just gonna make myself some dinner and take a shower and then probably go to bed almost because it's a very late in the evening um so yeah thank you guys for watching Mwah!